Hello everyone, Louise of Jewel here with your weekly juice. I was away last week because unfortunately I got COVID. Now, thankfully I'm feeling much better, uh, but I did spend a couple of weeks here at home alone. And it made me think about being alone with your thoughts and what it would be like if your thoughts were really a harsh critic all the time. Now, this leads me to uh, really think about rumination. Now, rumination is when something happens and you think about it over and over and over again. And I used to be a huge ruminator. Anything would happen, I'd overthink everything. I used to say that I won a gold medal in the rumination Olympics because I used to overthink everything. Now, rumination is a big problem because it can start with something small and then the next thing you know, it's sort of like a snowball that's accumulating snow uh, as it rolls down the hill. By the time it hits the bottom of the hill, it's a huge boulder. Because you start with something small, but then you go down the rabbit hole of what's really happening. Like for example, I'd have something small like I spilled my coffee and then the next thing I know, I was ruminating about, you know, well, what, how flawed I was, how clumsy I was, how I'm not accomplishing enough, how, you know, that person is more successful than me, so obviously I'm a loser and the next thing you know, I'm a loser and I'm going to be homeless. You know, again, it starts with something small and this rumination can lead us to catastrophizing about our lives. But for me, it all came down to this idea that I wasn't good enough. I wasn't accomplishing enough. I wasn't thin enough. And oftentimes when we have those harsh inner critics, that, that rabbit hole can be deep and wide and dark. So what I did, uh, and really this was sparked by some of the research by the late uh, Susan Nolan Huxema, who was a professor at Yale University, and she discovered that women were twice as likely as men to become depressed. And she wondered why. Finally, somebody asked, why? Why do women have twice the occurrence of depression as men? And she discovered it's because women ruminate more than men. So I, I really started to think about the fact that my healthy ways of thinking and getting rid of rumination is in fact really critical to my well-being and my good health and my happiness and my life, especially since something could happen at the beginning of the day and because I'm ruminating all day, it ruins my day if something like that happens. So I want to teach you a technique uh, that I learned from my dear friend and coach Karen Rockind. Um, so the other day I had a friend and she had an internet troll who um, you know said a mean comment to her and you know she kind of ruminated about it all day, kind of ruined her day, threw her off her game and Karen taught us this great technique where you have a temper tantrum so something happens like that, and instead of sitting at home and ruminating about it, get mad at it. Yell, scream, get it out of your body. Um, process all of that out of your body. Like think about how a two-year-old has a temper tantrum. Do something like that. So when I thought about that internet thrill, troll, I thought, yeah, screw you. And who do you think you are? And what are you doing with your life? And, you know, and, and I, you know, just wanted to sort of yell at it and even be mean because I'm just yelling to a screen. So I can be as mean as I want to be to really get all of that anger out without any kind of suppression. And it's helpful. It's so helpful because when you can uh, and we know from the research that when you have that kind of stressful event that happens, it's really important to process it out of your body, whether you go for a run or you scream it out or you uh, shake it out of your body. It's important to get that out of, out of your body. And then what's happening is you're not ruminating about it all day. You actually feel better that you've responded back to that person, even though you know you haven't done anything wrong it's really just with yourself you can feel good about being able to process something like that out of your body now i'm gonna be 
starting a course soon on how to silence your inner critic, how to, how to silence that harsh, critical thinking that may be happening, the roots of rumination, how to stop ruminating. Um, and so stay tuned for that because I'm going to have way more techniques and tools for you on how to live a really healthy and happy life by having those really good, healthy thoughts. So thanks everyone. Have a great day. See you next time.